Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So Inside Job is an animated series that is basically men in black for adult kids. That's probably the best way that I could explain it. And so we have this organization called Cognito. And these people are the ones that are really trying to, I would say, protect people from the realities of the world because a lot of people don't know what the real things that are going on. And basically the whole world is actually run by these things or people or organizations called robes. And then there's many other creatures like reptiles, aliens, mutated people, clones, all types of things. And the one who's really, I would say, running things, uh, at least in this organization, is this girl named Reagan. So she is a brilliant scientist, a genius, and she heads up this group that's basically the main group in here. And so she has the team of aliens and scientists and social media personalities. So uh, it's kind of all over the place, but it makes sense. And then at the head of Cognito is the CEO. His name is JR. Even though he is the CEO, it's really Reagan who's running things. And to go along with that, Reagan has her dad, Ran, who was the previous co-founder and head scientist of Cognito. And within this, there's just a lot of crazy things going on with each one of these 10 episodes. And so that's kind of like the general story. So getting into the things that I really enjoyed about this show is the humor. This is such a funny series. And since this is an animated series and it is for adults, there's so many things they could do that you wouldn't normally be able to do in a live action or in a series that's meant for kids. And so I absolutely enjoyed this because the things that I were thinking that they were going to say and do, they do it with really no restrictions. And so if you are somebody who has kids, I would not recommend that you let them watch this because it's really vulgar, it's very violent, <laughs> and there's a lot of adult themes in here. But for all the dope kids out there, they will absolutely love the humor here. And then the second thing I really did like about this series are the characters. So as I mentioned, we have Reagan, her dad ran, but then we have Reagan's team or group of people that she works with. So we have Brett, Gigi, uh, Dr. Andre, Magic Mike, uh, which is actually a mushroom jelly-like creature. Uh, we have Robotus, uh, which is a robotic president who is kind of like the Terminator. And there's a lot of cool characters here. And then we also have many side characters throughout the series. And all of them, I would say, is very likable. Uh, they each have their own personalities. And the thing is, even though they are animated characters, there's a lot of depth to them and I really did appreciate that. And then another thing that the series did so well is that each one of these episodes, they're interesting. And so you can have an episode about reptiles in one, and then you have another one about Jeff Bezos, and then you have another one about space. And so even though all of those things don't seem like they would make sense, the way in which it was written, it does make sense. And the great thing is the writers were able to tie all of these things together in this 10 episode series. And so it's not like they just have some random episode and it doesn't make any sense to the entire story. And in this case, it is one big entire story, but it's split up into 10 episodes. And I really found myself enjoying every single episode and I really couldn't wait to watch the next episode. And so that's another really great thing that the writers did with this show. And then the final thing I would say I really enjoyed about this show is the fact that it is very self-aware. And so as I mentioned earlier, just like Men in Black for adults in the animated version, they make references to that in this show. And there's many other pop culture references. You could see hints of Aliens, uh, The Terminator, uh, Akira. There's so many things that they reference, but the way in which they reference it, it's really clever and it actually adds a story and even talk about these pop culture references, which is something that I was really surprised. And so I definitely enjoyed the way in which they put all of these things together to actually enhance the story, the characters, and the overall humor. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.
Now getting to the thing that I did not like as much about this show is when you get to the 10th episode or near the end of the episodes, I kind of found the whole story uh, mainly about Reagan and her dad Rand not as interesting as all the other stuff that happened prior to this. And even though I wouldn't say these are like boring episodes or not as interesting, I would say they're not as fun and interesting as the other episodes. That's probably the best way that I could say it because overall Inside Job is really a fun show. They do very interesting things, clever writing, and really awesome characters. But other than that, I really can't wait to see the second season of Inside Job to see where Cognito goes and all these other crazy characters and the world that they built here. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this show or any other shows that you've seen recently that you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're gonna get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.